Hello, and welcome to another Madman Restoration video. In this video, I'm going to show you the technique called grain filling. This technique was used on most lane pieces, including the Lane Acclaim and Perception series. In this shot, you can see the pores of the wood. By grain filling, we are going to fill in those pores, and in the end, we are going to have a super smooth finish, just like Lane had from the factory. To start, this piece was already stripped, sanded, and coated with one coat of vinyl sealer. I will be using Mohawk Medium Walnut Grain Filler. Using grain filler instead of glaze on pieces definitely takes a lot more time, but you cannot compare with the end result. Grain filler really is the way to go as hopefully you will see in this video. Grain filler is pretty nasty stuff. As you can see here, it has separated and needs to be mixed thoroughly. Grain filler is really thick and heavy and takes a lot of time to stir and mix properly. There were times in the past where I had to mix for over 30 minutes. Thankfully, this was used more recently on a past project so I did not have to stir it that long. After stirring, this is what it should look like and we should be ready to go. To apply the grain filler, I put a little bit on the table and use a credit card to scrape it across the grain. Applying across the grain will ensure that the grain filler will seep down and get into all the pores. Now that the grain filler is applied, time to wipe off the excess with burlap. Wipe in the direction of the grain and this will remove most of the excess grain filler. After wiping with burlap, this is what it looks like now. Don't be alarmed by how dark the piece looks. You're not done yet. But first, the piece needs to sit for 24 hours. After letting the piece sit overnight, we are ready to move on. You won't see much of a difference visually, but you need to give enough time for the grain filler to set and dry. Now it's time for my least favorite part of the grain filling process, which is sanding. I am sanding by hand with 220 grit sandpaper. You can also use a random orbital sander as well. You can see all the buildup from the grain filler on the sandpaper. I'm going to have to go through a lot of sandpaper to get this done. And this is what it looks like after sanding. At this point, you can feel how smooth the top is. That grain filler filled in all the pores of the grain and is leaving you with a very smooth top. To avoid being redundant, I did not record the refinishing process. In this video, I just want to focus on grain filling and hand rubbing. The steps were one more coat of vinyl sealer, toner, and at least six coats of gloss lacquer. If you want to view that process, you can watch my other video on Lane Acclaim Restorations. You can actually leave the piece as is if you like it. 
I personally like a very high gloss look. A lot of people don't. But next we are going to hand rub and wet sand the piece for a very satin finish that looks like it came from the factory. Here are the products I'm going to use to wet sand and hand rub. First is 320 grit wet dry sandpaper. Next is your regular 4 ox steel wool. Next we have Mohawk Wool Lube Rubbing Lubricant. And lastly we have Mohawk Pumice Stone. I don't know why it came in such a big container, but that's all they had. You definitely don't need this much. To start, we are going to dip our 320 grit sandpaper in water and rub in the direction of the grain. You can see the sandpaper is knocking back that gloss sheen to more of a satin. But what you can't see or feel is the table becoming more smooth. I do not like water sitting on top of wood for too long, so you will see I wipe off the water and continue to wet sand. Next is time for the wool lube. To apply, put a little bit of wool lube on a wet piece of steel wool. Apply firm pressure and go in the direction of the grain. Now it's time to use the pumice stone. The directions are the same as using the wool loop. Now for the last step, it's burnishing. I have a clean rag and I'm rubbing and applying with firm pressure. This will help give the wood a nice smooth finish. Here is a side by side comparison. The right side was wet sanded and hand rubbed and the left side was not. Not only is the right side smoother it also reflects the light differently. It does not reflect as much, giving it a more satin look than gloss. Now here it is, all finished. At this angle, you can see the sheen and it looks amazing. It looks just like it did from the factory. Now I want to show you the difference between grain filling and not grain filling. Here's a piece I did over a year ago with using glaze and not grain filler. By using the cross light, you can see all the pores in the grain. Now here's a close up of our grain filled piece. You cannot see any pores in the wood and the top is as smooth as glass. In my opinion, grain filling and hand rubbing is a must for lame pieces to give them that factory look. It takes more time and patience, but the results are proof that it's totally worth it. You cannot get these results by using oil, stains, or polys. Those products are crap and shouldn't be used on your mid-century modern furniture. Follow my Instagram for more mid-century modern restorations, and thanks for watching.